So good afternoon to all. Hope you're doing great. So in this video, we'll be discussing about FCS software share. So previously, when we've done the complete technical analysis, we have discussed all the important supports and resistances. So since the past few sessions after the company has declared the quarter three numbers, we have seen a little bit of correction. So it is continuing that particular downtrend since many days. So many people are having queries related to technicals. So we'll try to find out what can be the next possible support zones. So before that, if you're new to the channel, then definitely subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon to get instantly notified. And most importantly, do join the telegram group because in telegram we'll discuss all the instant updates followed by stocks for intraday swing and long term i'll provide link in the description followed by comment section okay so if you try to observe the weekly chart of fcs software share so we can see the way it has gone in the upside direction the same way it is even coming down so after hitting the all time high of 8.5 rupees level we have seen continuous downtrend in the stock so in between it used to open but that circuit was temporary the next day we used to see that lower circuit so the quarter three numbers also that the company has posted recently so they were not up to the mark so that's the reason why the stock is still continuing that particular downtrend so not only this company so nowadays results are not a matter also because the companies which are giving good result they are coming down companies which are giving bad result they are going up so there is something mismatch uh, with this all penny stock so operators are trying to manipulate uh, each and every penny stock so now just you need to hold them you should not touch them or either you book your losses whatever it is so just leave them for a certain period of time so automatically they will get adjusted so if you get trapped with that operator moves ultimately you'll make that loss so keep holding it whatever the shares you have as i told only invest in small portions don't try to put any bulk quantities in these type of penny stocks because of this high volatile moves many small retail investors get trapped so the next important support zone is going to be the 3.50 rupees level and ultimately the 3 rupees zone so keep these levels in radar on the weekly time frame so quickly let's go to daily chart as well okay so if you observe the daily chart so daily chart also is not that attractive so it has come down again tried to show a retracement again continued again went up so that trend is still going in the downside direction but recently at the 4.50 rupees level it has tried to show a little bit of retracement but completely failed and it has formed a gravestone doji type of pattern which is again a bearish pattern so let's see the 3.5 rupees level and 3 rupees level if not the ultimate is this zone itself nothing can be done so you need to hold it for long term perspective um, just invest small portion if you're already having it hold it don't try to average now only once we see a reverse rally then only add in small small portion so until then just hold it for long term perspective okay so any further queries you can ask in the comment section and also you can connect with me in instagram instagram id is stocks diary yt so until then stay safe take care bye bye